Poppy makes Beauty and the Beast inspired cupcakes. Testing out AliExpress bought kitchen gadgets. Hey there and welcome or maybe even welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make Beauty and the Beast inspired cupcakes with an enchanted rose. In the last video tutorial I made, I showed you how to make an enchanted felt rose inspired by Beauty and the Beast. If you haven't seen that one yet, I have put it here in the info box and I put a direct link down below in the description box. As you all might know, I really love baking and decorating cakes, but I'm not really that good at it. So today, I am trying out some AliExpress bought kitchen gadgets, which should help you make beautiful sugar paste roses. To make the cupcakes, you will be needing a cupcake mold, a whisk or a hand mixer, cupcake wrappers, a sieve, a piping bag, a cupcake core, or in my case, an apple core, cupcake mix, any you like, or you could use your own favorite recipe, rose water, rose hip jam. If you can't find this, just use your favorite jam. Vanilla essence, red sugar paste. I'm also using Klopfix, which is kind of a Dutch product, to stiffen up the whipped cream. You could also use some icing sugar, and of course, some cream. Okay, so have you got all the things you'll need for your cupcakes? Yes? Great! So here are the AliExpress bought kitchen gadgets I will be testing. A sugar paste modeling mat, which cost me 2 euros and 6 cents. Sugar paste modeling tools, which cost me 96 euro cents. A set of 3 rose petal shaped cutters, which cost me 1 euro and 15 cents. A set of 4 flower shaped cutters which cost me 88 euro cents and one 3d rose shaped sugar paste mold which cost me 48 euro cents i will try and put all the correct links to these aliexpress bought items down below in the description box first i start by whipping the cream until it's nice and thick i also add a bit of club fix and some icing sugar once that is done, I'm starting with my cupcakes. I'm using a cake mixture, which I only need to add some water. You could use any mixture you want or any recipe you like. First, I'm sifting the flour into a bowl and adding the amount of water I need. To the cake mixture, I'm also adding a splash of vanilla essence and a tiny bit of rose water. Rose water is very strong, so be careful with your doses. I am only adding half a spoon to this cake mixture. Once the batter is done, I'm dividing it over a cupcake mold lined with cupcake wrappers. I'm pouring the batter into a cake batter dispenser, which I got from my mom over Christmas and I've been dying to try out. What you need to do with this cake batter dispenser is pour the batter in, hold it over a cupcake wrapper, and then you'll need to squeeze the handle so the batter will pour out. So let's try this. Okay, so the cake batter dispenser does work, but I think it would work better with something like a pancake batter, which is more thin than a cake batter. But anyways, thanks mom. When you've divided your batter over the cupcake mold, you are ready to pop them into the oven. Please read the instructions of your cake mixture or bake them as you would do normally. When the cupcakes are done, set them aside to cool. 
While the cupcakes are cooling, I will be testing the AliExpress bot kitchen gadgets. First, I'm trying out the 3D mold. I take a piece of sugar paste and knead it a bit. Then, I just push the sugar paste into the mold and use a bit of icing sugar so my hands won't get all sticky. I set the mold aside for now while I go and test the second gadget. The second gadget that I will be testing is the rose petal shaped cutter. I take a piece of sugar paste and roll it out using some icing sugar and a rolling pin. Then I take the cutter and cut out the shape. So far so good. To create a more natural look to the petals, I'm using the modeling mat and one of the modeling tools. I'm using a modeling tool with a rounded shape. So I lay my piece of sugar paste on the mat and with the tool I start shaping the petals by rolling in a circular motion over each and every one of the petals. I've never used these kind of tools before but I think it's working quite well. I do think you should not roll out the sugar paste too thin because when you're using the tool you might end up with a hole in the petals and then you have to start all over again. Once every petal has been shaped, the next step is to fold the piece of sugar paste double and roll it up. So fold and roll. This technique is actually quite similar on the technique I used on the Fell Enchanted Rose I recently made. Okay, so it may not be perfect, but for a first time, I think it looks quite good. Next, I took out the rose from the mold. I just pushed it out of the mold. It was quite easy and I used a modeling tool to touch up some of the petals. But it looks quite good. The last kitchen gadget I will be testing is the set of four flower shaped cutters. For this, I roll out a large piece of sugar paste with some icing sugar and my rolling pin. I cut out the petals with the cutters and take an extra piece of sugar paste and mold that into sort of a teardrop shape. Again, I'm going to model all the petals into a more natural look using the modeling mat and a rounded modeling tool. I did this with every piece of sugar paste. I start modeling the smallest petals. And once those are done, I wrap them around the tear-shaped piece of sugar paste. Then I continue modeling with the second smallest and so on and so on. And every time I've modeled a piece of sugar paste, I wrap it around the tear-shaped piece of sugar paste. Okay, so this was a lot harder than I thought this one would be. I think I should have started with a smaller piece of sugar paste in the beginning. And it takes more practice uh, these cutters, for sure. 
so it looks okay, but not as good as the others. To finish the cupcakes, I took out the center and filled it with the rose hip jam. Then, I topped it with a good dollop of whipped cream and, of course, a rose. I tried every gadget twice and for some it really was easier the second time, so practice does make perfect. Like this set of four flower shaped cutters works way better the second time. I use a smaller piece of sugar paste in the beginning and the second rose turned out way better than I hoped. Still, it's a lot of work for such a small rose, but it's okay. My favorite by far was a rose petal shaped cutter. And the second rose turned out even better than the first, so it's really easy and fun to use, and I really, really like this one. And lastly, the 3D mold. It was really easy in use. It is great if you are really in a need of a sugar paste rose, but it was just not my favorite. And ta-da! These are my Beauty and the Beast inspired cupcakes. This cupcake has a rose made with a 3D mold. This rose I made with the rose petal shaped cutter. And this one with the four piece set flower shaped cutters. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out any of my social media, all direct links are down below or any of my other videos are here in the info box. And don't forget to check out the Beauty and the Beast inspired video tutorial I made on how to make an enchanted rose. I will put a direct link down below in the description box and I have put it also in the info box. Have fun making your own Beauty and the Beast inspired cupcakes! please visit my blog puppymakesdiy.blogspot.com If you have any ideas or requests on what I should make or bake next time, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Click here to watch any of my other videos or to subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss a thing. Thanks for watching and see you next time!